Yes, let's get more about this topic from uh, Marcus Papadopoulos, who's an editor at Politics First. Marcus Papadopoulos, when it comes to the horrific attack that happened there in uh, New Zealand, let's look at the deeper issues that maybe contributed to that in some sense, either directly or indirectly. One of the most interesting things uh, that I uh, discovered, which may be uh, not news to you, is the Rupert Murdoch empire and his newspapers. Five of them actually had 182 articles for the year that had anti uh, Muslim sentiment in it, uh, roughly eight uh, uh, a day that uh, they published. Do you think that that is one way that the psyche is nurtured when it comes to the terrorists that killed uh, so many Muslims there in New Zealand? First of all, I would like to express my horror, shock and outrage at the terrorist attack in Christchurch in New Zealand. My faults are with the families of the victims and I sincerely hope that the perpetrator of this horrendous attack receives a very, very severe punishment. Now, turning to the causes of these sort of terrorist attacks against Muslims, it is my opinion that, for example, in Britain, because Islamophobia, because anti-Muslim sentiment is so widespread, for example, within the Conservative Party, within British mainstream media, such as the Sun newspaper, the Times, the Daily Telegraph, that these grotesque views are giving legitimacy to other people in society who want to discriminate against Muslims and who also want to even go further and kill Muslims. So, for example, last year, Boris Johnson, the former British Foreign Secretary, a Conservative MP, wrote in his column in the Daily Telegraph that Muslim women who wear the burqa resemble letterboxes. Now, that was clearly an Islamophobic um, comment to make, and yet the Daily Telegraph published that description, they published that sentence. There were no calls from um, British mainstream media, from uh, Conservative Party politicians for Boris Johnson to resign as an MP, for him to lose the Conservative whip, for him to be deselected by his Conservative Party association. He was allowed to make a horrendous comment, a horrendous Islamophobic comment, and continue as an MP. So what message did that send out to people in society in Britain that if Boris Johnson, a Conservative MP, someone who might one day lead the Conservative Party, someone indeed who might one day become Prime Minister, if he is free to make anti-Muslim comments, then it is perfectly acceptable for everyone else in British society to make anti-Muslim comments. So I do believe that in light of what happened in Christchurch, newspapers like the Daily Telegraph, uh, the Times and the Sun and politicians like Boris Johnson need to be held accountable. They need to first of all apologize for their remarks and they need to rectify the damage that they have done. Because as I've said, they have legitimized Islamophobic sentiments. Marcus Papadopoulos, we do appreciate that. That's Marcus Papadopoulos talking to us there, editor at Politics First. And that does it for the news review. Thank you.